Hello my lovebirds, you guys asked me so much about my skincare routine so I decided to make this video to show my AM routine and my PM routine. This video is not sponsored by any brand. I'm just sharing honestly, genuinely what I use personally. Um, my skincare type is sensitive, very very sensitive I would say. I have had my own journey in my skincare where i kind of struggled a lot and then i came across jennifer mears who is all about keeping skincare super simple less is more and just sticking to the basics and doing that has really really um given me my ideal skin that i desired for and the texture and the radiance and everything jennifer mir she is 44 i believe and her skin is gold it's like the radiance she has the usefulness she has that's honestly my goal and um she always talks about how you don't need these many products or you don't need to buy every skincare product that you see that you can be very mindful you can use the basic products and still get the result you want if you are consistent with them so the main key here is consistency if you want great skincare results so yeah let's get into it i am not an anti-aging person like i i'm not scared of wrinkles or anything i think they're beautiful they tell a story of you becoming wiser and older and gaining more experiences but yeah i do want to look healthy i do want to wear sunscreen and moisturize my skin and keep my skin hydrated and everything because my skincare is dry as well so my skincare type is dry and sensitive if you are wondering and i'm going to share my favorite products that really soothes my sensitive skin and i'm also gonna uh yeah i'm not gonna talk about products that didn't work for me i think it doesn't make sense i'm just gonna share what i love so yeah let's get started so i'm gonna start off with my am routine so what i do the first thing i i know um might sound weird but i do not wash my face in the morning because at night you your skin releases some oils some essential oils i don't know <laughs> what i'm talking about but what i know is that you are not supposed to wash your face in the morning because you didn't go out you don't have any dirt dust or anything you're just at home um so i don't wash my face of course i wash my face with water but i do not use any cleanser or anything i just wash it with water especially after my workout after i'm like so sweaty and i would just uh do that that's it i won't use any cleanser and then i will start my skincare with a toner because my skin is dry and i need a toner so i'm using this vegan tony moly wonder ceramide mochi calming toner i love this toner so much it has been so soothing i used to use laneige cream skin but then they came out with that upgrade and the consistency is so thin and i read all the bad reviews about it so i'm like i'm not gonna invest in something that has changed because i really used to like the thick consistency of the laneige cream skin it did wonders for my skin but this one came close it's very very soothing it's vegan and i just absolutely love it it's, it has ceramides in it and it's very very calming it actually does what it says so yeah very very hydrating and i'm in love with it i use it for my am and my pm as well after like washing my face uh, in the morning with water so that's the first step of my skincare then the second step is sometimes if i am not feeling very sensitive i would use my vitamin c my claire's vitamin c I think this is the holy grail products of many women but the only disadvantage is is that it just becomes yellow and not that effective what is it called it just um see i think mine is not that yellow yet but it just oxidizes i guess uh and you're not supposed to use it so it does that quite quickly but this one, oh my god, if you want that glow, vitamin C, Claire's. Claire's every product is amazing. I love their moisturizer. I love their cleanser. I love everything. So yeah, that's the, if I am not feeling very sensitive, I might use my vitamin C. And then I would use my moisturizer. I love this. This one is Bioderma um, Ultra Creme. I love this one because it's very nourishing. It's very lightweight. It's 
amazing under makeup because usually during the day i need a light moisturizer so i can you know wear makeup if i'm filming something a light makeup i don't wear too much makeup i don't wear foundation but yes to keep my concealer in place to keep my blush in place uh this one is a great one i love the light consistency and this was so cheap you guys this was like how much this was 660 and the bottle is huge like like my literally my face you guys and i think it's gonna last me like six months or so i've been using it for like this i've used this much in like a month or two months it's been uh and so yeah i think it's very very wonderful like it's great i love it so that's my second step and then i would use my favorite sunscreen that i am completely obsessed with it's this haldi and hyaluronic sunscreen by dr shed i love this one i love this one so much and i hate the other one i think it has vitamin c and ceramide it leaves white cast it does not suit my brown skin i love this one haldi and hyaluronic because it has a uh, yellow color and it does not leave any white cast it blends into the skin perfectly it does not peel at all but the ceramide and the vitamin c one it was literally peeling it was leaving white gas and it was just not an ideal situation for me but this one i think this is my sixth or seventh tube already i am that obsessed i am using only this sunscreen and oh my god i love it it has turmeric it has hyaluronic acid so of course it's not enough as actors but i don't use actors much so these they actually give me that glow give me that nourishment that hydration that i need so yeah i mean love it there i'm obsessed with it so yeah that's my um am skincare routine just these three products toner um moisturizer bioderma moisturizer and this sunscreen there's three products super simple super basic and very effective as well if you're very very consistent with it now let's get to my pm routine so i have applied or sometimes even reapply my sunscreen so i definitely need cleansing like good cleansing so i do double cleansing it really helps me so i use this oil oil based uh cleansing oil this one oil based cleanser i mean this one is claire's gentle black deep oil this is how it looks so this one is really good if you want to purify any oil based dirt any oil based <laughs> sorry for the like i don't know how we are able to speak properly today but yeah uh this one is the oil based cleanser you should always have oil based and then the normal one so i use this one it really especially if you have applied makeup or anything it really cleanses everything and just purifies everything so i love this cleanser and then uh for the second cleansing i would use this cerave hydrating cleanser because as i said my skin is very dry i need something moisturizing even as a cleanser i cannot have a cleanser that strips my skin so i use this one cerave hydrating cleanser it's for normal to dry skin everyone can use it um love this product so yeah this is my second cleanser and when i'm traveling i would use this l'oreal hyaluronic acid gel cleanser this one is also really good and i love the size of this it's very convenient to carry when you're traveling so yeah that's what i would use so that's the first step is cleansing the second step of my nighttime routine is my tony moly toner that's very hydrating very soothing it smells like tea tree oil and it's just very calming i love applying toner and just keeping my skin very hydrated and then if my skin is not feeling very sensitive i might apply this claire's midnight blue youth activating drops this is the drops it, it it has beautiful blue shade and i love it it has peptides i guess it has good peptides in it and i absolutely love using uh this sometimes but sometimes my skin is very sensitive to it i might break out and stuff so i make sure i do the sandwich method where i would apply my moisturizer so my nighttime moisturizer is the cerave creme i also have a huge tub of it which is inside uh, but um for face i use this one at night time my pm moisturizer is cerave moisturizing cream 
for a dry to very very dry skin and this moisturizer oh my god i'm obsessed with this it's really thick and it just keeps my skin hydrated throughout the night and i wake up in the morning and my i can still feel that moisture and when i wash my face i can still feel that moisturizer on my face it's that good so what i would do if you are really sensitive this is a really good hack if you are not able to tolerate any active at all if you keep breaking out and your skin turns red what you can do is you can use sandwich method where you can first like use your toner then apply your moisturizer and then wait for like one or two minutes and then apply your drops and then again apply your moisturizer that way you have like moisture barrier twice like first and then after the drops as well so it won't dry out your skin it won't make your skin very sensitive to the product yes this method this method has only disadvantage is that it won't be that effective like yes you won't have as much effect as you directly apply raw after your toner but still it works it has worked for me uh, sometimes what i would do is if i don't want to do the sandwich method what i would do is i would take out uh my moisturizer like b size moisturizer here and then i would put like three drops of this and i would mix both of them together and then i would apply it on my face and that way it just gives me the benefits of the moisture and the actives as well so that's what i do and then uh, another step is i apply this night hydration mask i don't do it daily only when i feel like my skin is very dry and very sensitive this mask is really amazing it's kita chia seeds and matcha mask oh my god i i'm obsessed with this this is my favorite skincare i'll show you the consistency is very thick it has chia seeds and matcha in it i i think i've used like five six uh already of these they are that good it's my holy grail like anytime my skin is breaking out anything i would use this mask night in the morning i would be healed i would be like rejuvenated rebirthed <laughs> again so yeah that's my favorite product and sometimes oh uh, yeah and then this is my lip product this is the only lip product that i use my vaseline in rose rosy lips Ro lip therapy is the best one honestly it's literally the best one. I don't know why the Laneige lip mask is hyped. It dried out my lips. I think this one is the... Uh, I cannot believe how affordable this one is. And this is such a big tin that it lasts me like six or seven months. And it just makes my lips really rosy and really hydrated. I absolutely love that so much. And then, of course, I'm 27. So I gotta be using retinol. But I don't use it as much as... This one also dries out my skin. This one is still like a very beginner friendly, very gentle retinol. It has Sika in it. Uh, it works for most of the sensitive skin types. But for me, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It also depends on my diet. If I'm consuming dairy and gluten, it does affect. Uh, so yeah, I use this one sometimes. Uh, Retinol Sika for this I definitely use the sandwich method where I apply the moisturizer, my CeraVe uh, moisturizer, then I would apply a little bit of this, I would apply just one drop of this and then I would apply this again and that's how I would sandwich my retinol. So yeah you guys, these three uh, actors I use them very rarely but my main main basic skincare has been toner moisturizer sunscreen in the morning and at night is cleansing toner moisturizer and the sleeping mask sleeping mask also very occasionally only when i'm feeling like i need that hydration but not every day so yeah stick to very 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 basic uh skincare steps you don't need to do 14 steps it doesn't make sense if your skin is like very sensitive to everything and you just want to keep uh, everything minimal and yet very effective this has been so effective for me i've seen the difference in my skin and i love it absolutely love it, it takes only five minutes for me to do my skincare it doesn't take much time also it's very soothing i look forward to my skincare time because i've been super consistent with it especially my um 
sunscreen and it has given me amazing amazing great results so yeah you can skip on the actives and other you know extra fluff if you want to but never skip on your moisturizer and your sunscreen you can also skip toner if you have an oily skin you don't have to use a toner i just use it because my skin is dry but please use moisturizer and your sunscreen in your am and pm you can just use a moisturizer that would work as effectively so yeah i really hope this guy this video helped you guys and uh, love sharing my skincare my am and pm routine if you love any of these products or if you also have a very basic routine then i would love to have your input maybe comment down below or send me a message i would love to hear from you if you have any suggestions for me to make new videos i would make videos on that as well so put all the suggestions down in the comments and i know this one is like a different video than what i usually do but yeah check out my free gifts if you are into spirituality if you um really want to learn how you can how to manifest and check out my free resources i have seven free resources in the description check them out and have the best day ever i love you so much be kind to yourself talk to yourself gently like you would talk to a child and do not believe your every thought okay bye